Let's take a look at what the intersection command can do inside of Business Center Heavy Construction Edition. What I have here is a project and I've already defined my horizontal and vertical alignments for the project. Basically we've laid this out where the roads are going to go and we're going to need uh, some roundabouts and some intersections. So we're going to model this up and uh, using basically just the intersection tool. So I'm going to start here because it's going to be our what we'll call our our city center. Everything will kind of be hubbed around this uh, main intersection. So I'm going to select the two alignments, right click and select create intersection. When I do that we'll call it roundabout center so I'm just going to say round center and we're going to click on create roundabout and I'll click OK or apply. So now we have a roundabout <clears throat> that's been modeled and it's pretty simple, pretty basic. We can control the properties so if I come in and uh, go to the uh, properties panel and I select the intersection so I can either select it from over here or I can select it by picking the grip. I can come in and I can adjust the radius, the slopes, the lane widths, uh, so on and so forth. So I can go in there and make those adjustments as needed. I'm just going to leave them the way it is because I like the defaults and we're going to work with those. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to come down and expand the roundabout and I'm going to go to the first leg and on the first leg we want to put in some roundabout islands and on that roundabout island I want to come in and put a walking path so we're going to put a 5 foot walking path and we'll adjust the curb height and we'll make it 0.15 which is we're in metric so it's going to raise that up and we can do the same thing for the center island so if I pick the roundabout center actually and give it a curb height of 0.5 or sorry 0.15 or I could come in here and say uh, 0.5 feet and it will convert it to 0.152 so you can work in multiple units in Business Center now that I have that first leg what I want to do is simply take that leg copy the properties and paste it to the others so it's going to come in and paste it around and we'll do the same thing here. So I've got that one done and I'm going to come over here and let's we're going to do another roundabout over here so I'm going to select those two and we'll go to the intersection command and we're going to call this round to the east and we'll click OK. Now we have a setting that if there's a distance between two intersections it creates what's called a twin so now that we've done that you can see that it's actually come in here and it's put in the island and connected the two uh, roundabouts so we can go up to this upper part and select these two and we'll go ahead and we're just gonna call this the a four-way and I'm gonna click apply now I forgot to change the setting roundabout, create roundabout, so it put in a roundabout. Well, if I go back to the properties and we pick the four way, I can change that to an X, and now I've got a four way intersection. Now, what we want to do is go and add in these other intersections. So we can just keep working our way around. I'm going to select these two alignments here, and we'll call this T1. Make sure we turn off the create roundabout. I'll click OK and or apply, <clears throat> and then I'm going to pick this one, these two inner, our alignments, and I'm going to call this T2. So now I've added and built a network of intersections for my project. So what I might want to do here is come in and put in some other uh, objects. So if we go to properties and I'm going to select in here and that's going to be the road leg and we're going to put in a roundabout island for that as well and when I come down here you can see that it extends it down into this intersection with a roundabout so on this side what we want to do is we're actually just going to do a I would have another uh, round or intersection over there so you would continue down there but just to show you what you can also do is I can come in and I can grab this leg and we could put in just a separator and it will separate those two uh, lanes if we wanted to uh, maybe up in uh, 
over here we're going to do a turn lane so if I select this intersection um, we can put in a turn lane so if I change that to a, a turn lane actually let's make it a regular turn lane okay so you can see that I can do that and because we don't have enough space I'd have to come in and adjust some of these properties here for the the actual turn lane so let's, let's change that back to a, uh, a triple R uh, return let's put a turn lane up in this one because the way that our traffic flow is going to go we want to have a turn lane in here so we'll go ahead and put in a turn lane island for that one you can see that it comes in here and then on this one maybe we'll just do a separator there so we'll do a separator on that part you can see that it actually separates it contingent uh, contains the lanes and adds it out that way we can do some other things maybe we come up in here grab this road leg do the same thing maybe do a uh, drop or what if we just change it to a double lane island okay so a lot of different things that we can do with just by changing the properties and the parameters once we have this defined and configured we can come in over in this one and do the same thing maybe grab that road intersection and do a double lane island over there okay so now you can see that it comes in we've got our turn our adjustments and our lanes and we've got an island going through the object and the islands once you do all that if you want to combine this all into one surface it is pretty simple you just go to surface create surface and we grab our surfaces we'll go ahead and give it a name you can apply a color we'll click OK and now I have one overall surface triangulated for our entire project so that's just something you can do with the intersection tool it makes it very quick to model up a, a project such as this with a series of roads and corridors and intersections